Hey guys, it's Wendy from Fab Crafts and More, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to download fonts to access them in Cricut Design Space. So there are several free font websites um, online. You can just Google free fonts and several will come up. I have already loaded up dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. Um, it's a really popular popular one and easy to find. So this is the home page that comes up, and there's usually um, recently added fonts on here. It also will tell you here how to install a font. So I am on a Mac. Things I'm going to do are going to be Mac related. So if you have a Windows platform, then you can go right here and it will tell you how to install your fonts. So there are lots of categories of fonts and if you already know the name of a font, you can come up here into the search and type it in. So I'm going to type in I Love Glitter because that is, you can see I've searched for it before, that is one that is very popular in design space and when new people come into the help groups, they always say, oh, where do I get that font? Well, here's one place where you can get it. Defont.com, type in I Love Glitter, and there it is, and you can download it. So I am going to go back to the home page, which it is going to change the fonts that were on there. Oh, I like this strawberry blossom. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So what you do is you can first click on the font, and it will tell you about the author and person who designed the font. And you can scroll down. There's usually some really cute pictures that show how it can be used. And then if you keep scrolling down, it will show you the letters, the uppercase, lowercase letters, and then any extra letters that are included for other languages um, or special uh, what are called flourishes or glyphs um, that can be utilized. So we're going to go ahead and go right over here and click download. Now, this you can see it says right here, this font is free for personal use only, okay? These websites that give free fonts are giving you these fonts to use for your personal use. If you choose to use these fonts on products that you're going to sell, you need to purchase the rights to use the fonts. So please respect the creators of these fonts, and if you're going to use them on a website where you are selling designs or selling t-shirts you need to buy the font so now we will go over here and we will click download now like I said I'm on a Mac so I'm just going to follow through with how you download things off the internet with a Mac so oh it looks like I actually already have downloaded this one so I'm just going to go ahead and replace it and there's strawberry blossom these download it in a zipped file so if your um, operating system needs a program to unzip files, then you need to make sure that you have that. So I'm not going to talk about the difference between OTF and TTF because right now we're just trying to go through how to download fonts and get them into design space. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and choose the OTF. I will cover the difference in those in a video at another time. So for Mac, you just double click on it. It pops up um, font book. You install the font. You can also grab it from here and drop it. And there we go. Now it's installed. So font book allows you to go through and see what the font looks like and what the letters are going to look like. So now that it's installed in my computer, I'm going to close these windows. And I'm going to go and open Cricut Design Space. There we go. I'm going to start a new project. And click on text. Brings up this little box right here. I'm going to click in there and let's just type hello. Except let's spell it correctly. Not hello. There we go. And when you open a new project in Design Space, it automatically brings up this Cricut Sans font. And you can view the fonts once you've clicked the text button and you still have this window open where you can edit the text. 
you will have all the text options up here at the top. And Cricut Design Space will open with Cricut Sans as the default font. Oops, sorry about that. Double click again. Anytime you want to get back into editing it, editing your text, you click on it and then you double click and it brings up the text edit window. So we want to change this to our strawberry font. So we can go up here and search strawberry and there it brings it up. Okay, you can search all the fonts that are in Design Space, which includes the fonts that are on your system and the Cricut fonts. You can search in your system only, or you can search in the Cricut fonts only. So because I have Strawberry typed in and I've chosen Cricut, there aren't any fonts that have the name Strawberry in them for the Cricut fonts, so nothing is going to show up. If I un if I close that and I'm I've chosen Cricut, this Cricut is highlighted in green you're going to see all, just all the Cricut fonts. And you can choose fonts from there too. Um, if I just have my system clicked, it's gonna show all the fonts that are already in my system. Um, so let's go to Strawberry again. And you can just start typing it and it'll bring it up. Whatever fonts have S-T-R-A-W-B-E-R-R -R are gonna show up. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then it will change my font to the strawberry blossom. I'm going to enlarge that so we can take a look at it. Now, when you use the fonts in Cricut Design Space, they are often spaced out further than they should be. I'm not sure why that happens, but it does. So, with your text highlighted, up here you will see all the text editing options and you want to go to letter space and because we want to decrease the space between the letters we're going to push the down arrow and just keep clicking until they touch each other like they should in a script font. So this looks a little more normal right? Um, and so there you are. That is how you can go to an outside website to download a font, install it on your computer, and access it in Design Space. I would like to make a note about if you already have Design Space open in your browser and you go to a site to download a new font, you will probably have to close Cricut Design Space and reopen it before Design Space will recognize that that font is there. So we downloaded the font first, and then we opened Design Space in the browser. If you already have Design Space open in the browser, and you load, download a font and install it on your computer, you may have to then sort of reboot by closing Design Space and coming back into it. So if you download a font in the middle of a project, then you're going to want to save your project into Design Space so that after you download the font and install it, if Design Space doesn't read it, you can close out of Design Space and then go to your saved projects. Okay. Don't get frustrated if at first you've downloaded a font and then you aren't able to find it. Close out of Design Space, open it back up, and it should be there. So I hope this was helpful to you in being able to find, download, install a font, and then come into Design Space and be able to use that font. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.